The Pulse Massacre tested the talented abilities of medical personnel. The devastation inside the nightclub pushed the life and death tension to the ORMC emergency room just three blocks down the road. The chief surgeon sat down with our own Fox 35's David Martin to talk about what has changed in a year. The unforgettable phone call. I have 20 gunshot wounds coming. I need you now. And at those words, Dr. Michael Cheatham rushed to ORMC. With no clue how, what, where, or why his ER was getting a victim a minute. To receive 36 victims in 36 minutes, um, there are probably very few hospitals in the U.S. that have experienced that many casualties all at one time. The hometown violations so close in proximity. You know, at one point, there was a thought that there was actually gunfire in the emergency room. What, what was heard was actually gunfire from the scene, but it echoed and it made it sound like it was in the hospital. In the past 12 months, Dr. Cheatham has traveled the country. 27 states, 63 cities, more than 160 presentations to hospitals on how to really handle mass casualty incidents. He says most are woefully unprepared. And while on June 12, 2016, ORMC was not overwhelmed medically, plenty of manpower, there were two big lessons learned. Number one is you have to focus on the families and the friends. That is a part of disaster response that is frequently ignored completely. We had 400, 500 family members and friends that morning all desperately wanting to know whether their loved one had made it out of the club. The second key lesson was the impact that this kind of an event has on the hospital staff because they saw things that they had never experienced before. Uh, they felt uh, at times very um, helpless that they were not able to save uh, those uh, victims that succumbed to their injuries. These were devastating injuries. The doctor passes pulse twice a day, once coming into work and once going home. There's barely a day or a moment that you pass that nightclub where there isn't somebody outside paying their respects to those that, that didn't survive. And on those drives, the inevitable happens. I think back to that night on a daily basis. In Orlando, David Martin, Fox 35 News.